Hey, what's going on? Good day in the neighborhood. Bitcoin just made a recovery high just a couple of minutes ago. I'm going to go on and talk about our thoughts here after picking the low last night. So Bitcoin, 33465 We were a buyer last night at 29 uh, Paid 29.3 for some, paid 29.850 for some. Ethereum, we're doing so much trading. Ethereum, I'm in at 1060. That should have been for everybody. And uh, Litecoin, 125 to 128 would have been our entries. We got a patreon.com slash learn crypto where I trade the majors and uh, my partner Nick trades the uh, smalls and the micro caps. This month, I think he said we got 20 winners, three losers, and six open profits. And on some micro, small caps, he's got some fives and ten bangers just in the last few months. So uh, I buy based on Wyckoff, which we're going to show here today. Uh, on the main screen is Bitcoin USD Bitfinex. You can see on the bottom right, technometer 40.8. It got down to 39.4, I believe, last night on the smash down below 29,000. Didn't give us exactly what we wanted, but uh, got close enough. That was the level where I thought we were probably going to reverse from. Here is Bitcoin USD consolidated, 140 exchanges. You can see technometer, same thing down here at, uh, let it update. Things are being a little slow, it looks like. 42.4 on the technometer. And Bitcoin USDT consolidated, going to be about the same. Bitcoin USDT technometer 42.727. We're going to go to the five minute intraday. One month. Let's look at this chart. This is a little more telling on last night's low, I think. I had talked about uh, us having an A down. This was a a B triangle and then five waves down into the C low last night. I liked it better on a Bitfinex, so we're going to show that. Same thing, five minute line chart, one month. You'll be able to see the volume definitely look like an ABC. Volumes lower right. You can see the triangle here that we had. Let's put that in blue. This definitely looked like, off this high here, it looked like definitely you could count five ways down into this low. Then you had A, B, C, D, E triangle. Then you had five ways down into last night's low for a little bit of Elliott wave. So it was an A, B, C. You can see here much more weakness on the volume than the price because actually volume rolled over back here uh, when we was at uh, 33,000, I think that's a lot of minor selling. And uh, but I counted ABC down, Elliott Way, which I do use for the cryptos to overlap the Wyckoff. This is kind of inharmonious action because you can see volume is way below this low here when we was at 30,000 on the 11th, and price could only get below it last night for what an hour or two. So that's inharmonious action per Wyckoff. Uh, and I'm going to say on Wyckoff courses at WyckoffSMI.com, I'm going to do 20% off for the next 24 hours. The coupon code is 20 off 24, 20 OFF 24, one word. Let me put that up here real quick. If you want to take a course, 20 off 24 should get you 20% off next 24 hours. For Wyckoff Unleashed or Wyckoff Beginners. If you want the Wyckoff Crypto course at learncrypto.io, email me, hit me up on Twitter, and I'll give you a code over there that'll work. The Discord is patreon.com slash learncrypto, 40 a month. 
no discount on that. That's already too cheap. Java drilled, yes. I'll run a commercial later, but I do manage stock and crypto assets. 3% annual fee. I am a legal registered investment advisor for the last 25 years. So uh, let's look at Ethereum real quick. Ethereum we bought at 1060. It is uh, way higher today. I thought that one would lead us. I do like Litecoin here. It's a little slow here the last few hours, but I would guess it'll have a green bar here in a minute when you're not looking. Ethereum USD consolidated. So uh, really moving kind of in lockstep. So not much to show there. I'm guessing that was a C wave of a triangle, so probably could work up still higher. Maybe it had been a $100 pullback and then uh, still much higher. I would think if we're, uh, I've been showing this count here on uh, YouTube shows. So let's show that here real quick. Again, I do Wyckoff because I own the original institute, but I do threw uh, some Elliott Wave on top of this stuff. So that was a triangle I was hoping for, but our indicators never gave us that. So if we have done a white wave four here, then yes, new highs are coming. Or maybe the white four is going to be a wild, violent triangle or trading range still, and then new highs. But my guess is we're going to slowly work our way to new highs. And if we zoomed into this like we did yesterday, I gave this live yesterday on YouTube that we had done the one, two, three, four. I had stated that we were completing the four yesterday and needed the five down to 29,000. That's what we did get. So that low is in and gives us the white wave four. So the orange was five ways down into that low, like I had mentioned. Our technometer did get down to 39.4, so uh, I thought we was close enough. But that, yes, that would foretell we're doing five waves up to new highs, and we're probably just going to be completing the first wave one of the first wave one somewhere up here today, maybe, and then take a breather. So Ethereum. We was long Ethereum from 950 before, caught the exact low basically. We did not sell at the highs because we was afraid it might continue higher. We did sell at 1185 and then immediately bought it back at 1060. So we're long there. Uh, again, I think the low's in. And then Litecoin, same thing. We bought the smash at 128, sold 138 on a stop, bought back at 125 to 128 last night. DOT is still not in my software, but I would think DOT continues higher. That's been a strong one. I would think that's got to keep going. Appreciate it, Java Drill. WyckoffSMI.com, LearnCrypto.io. Minimum is $10,000 for stocks or $10,000 for crypto. On stocks, I manage a Charles Schwab. You have to have a Charles Schwab account, which we can help you set up. Or I can take over a Charles Schwab that you already have. And then uh, on the crypto, you create a trading API for us where we have uh, trade view manage rights, but we cannot withdraw or, or uh, exchange. So we can't move any coins around. We cannot withdraw anything. We can only trade view manage. Let's quickly, uh, let's slide over to uh, stocks for a minute. I still think these things are somewhat moving together. Here's uh, SPY ETF on the S&P 500. If you know, I've been long. I've been talking about that in the week in review and also in the discords. It's still, we had some weakness today, but we're recovering from that. Technometer 44 neutral. Everything still just looks higher here. So we're still long. 
you look at DIA, no change there. Technometer up to 41. Still looks higher on the Dow Jones. You see down here, it just came off oversold. So uh, I will at some point have to trail some stops here, but not yet. QQQ. Technometer straight at neutral after being oversold. At the last low, we had a, a buy down here at, at these lows three days ago, four days ago. Everything still looks higher. We've got our Wyckoff Wave Growth Index that we follow in more detail. It's up to 45 on the technometer. So, uh, there again, still neutral. We're going to look for my pro traders at wyckoffsmi.com, which again, you can get this 40 bucks a month. If you sign up next 24 hours, it'll be 20% off of that. We're still long trip around 2680. I think it was, we're 3315. We're still long pegs. Microsoft heated up the last three or four days. I missed that one. Pags is still here. We're lying around 47 and change. We're 56. And Keys has been one of our better ones. Keys is 146. We're in that at 119. And then I'm still short the metals. Seems like I've been that way forever. I'm short the metals by being long dust, which was up nicely earlier today. Giving back some of those gains. But uh, still long dust, hoping we can get through this resistance. Let's look at TLT real quick. In a minute here, what's up, Outlaw Preacher? What's up, Chris? TLT. Sitting down here at the lows. Technometer 49.55, 50 is uh, overbought, so I'm guessing TLT is going to, I mean, we've done a half 50% rally we're trying on, can't even get that accomplished. Looks like TLT is headed down, 20-year bonds headed down, interest rates headed higher. Let's look at Tesla real quick here while we're going over stocks. Setting here sideways, technometer 43. Nothing looks like it's bracing for another short-term pork blaster here. What up, call a call. Bitcoin right here near the highs of the day, so no change there. Anybody got any cryptos? that they want to look at on the daily chart. YLCO, what's up, Walter? Cliff, I believe. If that's a stock, I don't think that's in my software. I'll check here in a minute. All right, daily Bitcoin in front of us. Anybody, let's look at XTZ. I think that's in the software. XTZ USD. That thing was being a dog down there at buck 80. Now we got 308. Nice recovery today. Technometer lower right. Uh, 46. 50s overbought, so still room to run. That one looks like a coin just trying to finally come alive which it's needed, so let's hope that one can break out here. What up, Cater Pie? XTZ USDT, technometer neutral at 44, just came off of 42 yesterday, so it would have been a little bit better than that late last night like everything was, so uh, XTZ should be able to keep it moving. Hold on, we got Link.
Link USD, technometer 42.3 after being uh, really oversold last night when I gave the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin buys. I usually tell everybody, if you're looking at a coin like this, if I'm recommending a general market buy on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, you can buy anything. So you could have bought easily 18 on Link or 22.23, technometer below neutral. OP at a new low yesterday, so I would think Link has a little gas ready still to go higher. What's up, Nathaniel? AAVE is not in my software. I've said my developers are not, I'm not getting updates to my crypto software to add symbols. I can in the stock, but not the crypto. So slight problem at the moment. So I cannot do AAVE. That one's been a strong one. I would think it would continue here, especially if Bitcoin's going to new highs. Here's NEO USD. LTO, no opinion. I don't know if maybe Nick has an opinion. NEO, technometer neutral. OP at a new low like last night, like many of these coins did. So I would think NEO off of uh, last night's low, same thing, should have a good run. 21 to 24 already. ADA will do that. ADA USD. <laughs> 34 7. I'll take that. I take that today. ADA USD, same thing, new low last night on the OP. Technometer as uh, 39.9. ADA made a 28, we're at 36, that thing. I've been talking about that still going higher. That one still should be good. No problemo. See ya, Heather. Bat, haven't talked about that in a long time. BAT USD consolidated. Bitcoin new high, 33,760. Who's your daddy? I like that action today. Going up easily today. There's BAT breaking out, 23 to 33. Sweet. You can see technometer uh, down to 43. Not much help. But again, some of these uh, coins are looking extremely good. BNB. Nick has owned this since, I don't know where it was, 26 or 41, and then he did all the uh, staking on this thing. I don't do any of this, but Nick does a shitload of it. This has been a huge home run. That one's reversed higher, so it looks more, uh, not quite as strong as some of these also. BNB should be good. Again, I'm a registered investment advisor. I got regulators watching me. Here's a quick disclaimer. Do your own research. There is a high degree of risk involved in trading cryptocurrencies. Our thoughts and ideas are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your personal advisor or do your own research. Past results are not indicative of future returns. Thank you. My regulators don't understand crypto, so they're having a hard time regulating it. There's Ethereum three minute chart, lower left, just continues higher. Chugging away. We bought the exact low basically last night, so we'll take that. All right, Bitcoin 33,704, Ethereum 1269, Litecoin 140. Anybody got any stocks they want to go over? We'll try to do a little bit of Wyckoff analysis. If anybody's got any stocks you want to quickly go over?
We could do that now. FSTLY, FSLY. That's one I thought would test up there at 105. So, so far, that's still working. Looks to me like a little bit of uh, distribution, maybe. LAZR. We've got that one. Look at the nine month. Looks like a high level pork blaster coming. Technometer was at 40. Now we're at 48. OP is sideways as well. So uh, I would think still higher, but once I get a general market sell, I think some of these are going to roll over. What's up, Taj? You had big volume on the upside. We're lowered volume here now to the right, so that looks like more accumulation. I'd rather not see that uh, 2964 level taken out. I probably would use that on a stop unless this is a buy and hold. OVTZ. That one is not in my software. I only have the ones in my software that I'm really trading or monitoring myself because there's so much data being stored. I don't do it for every stock. Gold. Uh, gold, I have been bearish since the highs. I will show that why. Classic Wyckoff here on the nine month. Preliminary supply, buying climax, automatic reaction, secondary test. We had a couple fall through the ice, as I believe, rally backs. I'm looking for mark down here. So I'll get this rally today or tomorrow out of the way, then I think we'll see lower. We are oversold in the technometer, which I mentioned a few days ago. But if we can't stage a better rally here, then I still think the metals are headed lower. I think the dollar's headed higher. So metal still looks lower to me. And I still think the dollar can uh, try to bounce here multi-month. That is going to affect the Bitcoin, I believe, when that happens. So uh, we'll trade it day by day. Let's go back and look at UUP. I've had a position here with some small losses. UUP is a long dollar ETF. I'm hoping here we've done maybe a one up. And a two down here ready to go higher, or maybe an A up, and this is a B ready to go higher. If not, we're going to go to one more new low, and then I think finally have a uh, much stronger rally. Sentiment against long dollar is uh, hugely negative. I've shown that before. I would think the dollar's got to have a rally here, which again is going to hurt Bitcoin. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up, get back to work. I'm going to run a two-minute Who Was Richard Wyckoff for anybody that doesn't know. I took his course 1982, got a lot of real money national recognition after I graduated, which kind of started my career. And again, 20 off 24 if you want to uh, do a Wyckoff course. Nice trade, Philippe. So again, two-minute commercial, then end of show. Quick little blurb and I'm out of here. Have a good one. Good luck. Good afternoon. My name is Richard D. Wyckoff. Anyone who is interested in the stock, option, or commodity markets is most likely to find my life and teachings to be of great interest and value. I was born November 2nd, 1873. At the age of 15, I had my first job as a stock runner on Wall Street. And by age 25, I had opened my first brokerage firm. I was one of the pioneers in the study of the tape and included volume studies in all my market operations. This volume and its intraday studies is what set me apart from the rest of the market gurus. There was a point that my buy and sell following was so big that it became a powerful part of the daily market. It was at this time that I became known as one of the titans of technical analysis. But all along, my lifelong endeavor was to pass on my accumulated wisdom to others. With that in mind, in 1907, I created the magazine of Wall Street. At its height, the magazine of Wall Street had over 200,000 subscribers. 
that's over 200,000 investors who wanted my thoughts on the current market conditions and trends. Finally, in 1931, I decided to take all my knowledge that I had learned about the stock market and create the Richard D. Wyckoff course of stock market science and technique. I was able to create something that established a new standard of practice in the public stock market operations. I did not claim any monopoly of stock market knowledge, but up to that time, no one else seemed willing to be so frank in offering to the public the most intimate knowledge of the inner workings of the stock market. The good news is that even though I created the Wyckoff stock market course back in 1931, the course has been maintained and updated throughout the years and is available to you today. Over 90 years later, my course is still available for investors and traders that want to learn the secrets to the stock market and can be found right now at WyckoffSMI.com. We'll see you all again. Sleep tight. <laughs>